and you're welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and um, many little questions about uh, uh, people ask about what is the difference between sleep shutdown and restart in a computer um, this is specific of Windows 8 but uh, I think this video is also a video uh, that can be really useful for most people wondering um, in every versions of Windows. Basically, sleep mode is your computer actually shutting down most of its uh, internal electronic circuits and keeping the power to the minimum. It will save whatever you are doing on the hard drive and keep um, some of the information so that when you actually want to come back you'll press the power button or in some cases just press a uh, keyboard key or a mouse and it's gonna come back to the state that your computer was with all that you were doing available on your screen. Now one of the ideas why people want to put their computer to sleep is that usually a computer that you've put to sleep takes a lot less time to wake up. So sometimes people just find that their computer takes way way too long to start up. And so by putting it in sleep mode what's cool is that everything's faster at startup and you're already wherever you were doing work or whatever you were doing is already open. Drawbacks of using sleep mode is that first of all if you have a laptop keep in mind that sleep mode means your computer is still drawing a little bit of power off your battery. So uh, you can actually run your battery totally to zero if you forget your computer in sleep mode which is never a good idea. Um, another drawback that sleep sometimes can bring and it's um, it depends on each computer. Some computers work really well in sleep mode but um, I've seen as a tech guy some computers that actually have problems going into sleep mode and especially coming back from sleep mode. Um, so if when you choose sleep mode and you bring back your computer things are not running well or maybe you have no internet or maybe you have some sort of error or problem it can mean that some kind of some drivers or maybe a program that was running doesn't like to be in sleep mode so that's the drawback also of being in sleep mode but if it works well it's true that sleep mode is probably a good option because when you start everything is much faster to start up Keep in mind that it's always a good idea to shut down your computer from time to time. And that's why we have the shutdown option. First of, all, first of all, shutdown is really a shutdown. Your computer um, sessions uh, really closes down. Your computer, basically, your Windows um, computer actually will restart in a fresh new state. When you were in sleep mode, it would start up with all that was done before. Now in sleep and if you go into the uh, shutdown it restarts with a fresh new uh, option of working. So what also happens is that most of the electronic circuits are to shut off. Compared to sleep where a minimum of power is always used in the computer, shutdown really really stops almost all the circuits from having power. It really tells the power supply shut down everything I don't want to have power in my computer or almost no power. It's not totally true that you have no power but it's close to zero and there's only a few circuits that are still um, used. My recommendation um, is basically to um, shut down your computer at night um, so before going to bed for example just shut down really do a shutdown don't put your computer to sleep 
do a shutdown and um, if it's a little long and starting up in the morning well you know just press the button go make yourself uh, your cup your favorite cup of coffee and uh, when you'll come back everything is going to be started and um, it's generally a good idea to shut down because it uh, we helps the computer um, generate less heat when it's not working and um, it also since it restarts a fresh copy of Windows, um, what's nice is that if you had problems or if something went wrong, well, you're restarting over, so things should be pretty okay. And last but not least, you've got Restart. Restart says it all. Sometimes you're doing something in a computer and um, installing a new piece of software or maybe installing a new hardware, a new printer, a new webcam or whatever. Usually it's not a bad idea to restart your computer when you install something new because um, some drivers need the computer to really restart in uh, order for Windows to be able to use it fully. Um, restart can also happen if you made some uh, modifications inside Windows like in services and stuff like that and um, for the computer to really work like it should with the new changes you might want to restart so instead of shutting down pressing the button and restart there is a restart option it will shut down and reboot the computer the, like loading a fresh Windows um, like in the shutdown except that you don't have to press a button to repower your computer. So three little options there, sleep, shut down and restart. Always useful. And depending on the computer and what you're doing, you can put it in sleep mode if you know you're using it in a few hours. Uh, shut down before going to bed. You can restart if you did some changes and the computer needs to have uh, a fresh new start to actually use all those uh, new settings or that new hardware. If you enjoy these videos, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed of new videos online. If you've got that new Windows 8 machine, it's a great, great way to actually uh, learn more and know when new videos are online. Um, if you have comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know and uh, we'll have um, um, we'll try to answer any questions and if you have a request of a feature you'd like to see a video on uh, let us know we'll try to do what we can and uh, finally um, lots and lots and lots of videos of Windows 8 if you got that new Windows 8 machine and you're totally lost lots of videos ex explaining all the different modes um, in Windows 8 and how to use it to the maximum so thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.